You disgust me, you little boy. Little naked boy. Poopy on you. What is going on over here? What is going on? <clears throat> oh my, this child is of the nude. I, Jean-Marc Etard Retard, shall take him into my home and study him. He could be the missing link, you know. You, come home with me now. So this is my home and this is where you will be staying while I study you for the next few days. Hmm, is that okay with you? Oh, Monsieur Retard, your dinner is ready. It is over here in the kitchen. Oh, thank you, Madame Gerton. That is Madame Gerton. She is our housekeeper. She has prepared a lovely meal of food for you, so why don't you go on in there and have some? Mm -hmm. do, do you understand what I am saying to you? Food? Food? Hmm. Apparently you do not speak a word of French. Well, that is to be expected. <laughs> now, uh, why don't you go on in the go on in the kitchen? Go on, go on in the kitchen and uh, have yourself something to eat. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. <sighs> Hopefully, by studying this young boy, I will be able to prove once and for all that the difference between humans and common animals is humans' ability to show empathy to other human beings. <laughs> yes. Oh my. That is one hungry boy. Jean-Marc, dear, I am home. Ah, Emily, welcome home, darling. So what is new? Oh, what is new indeed? Wait right here. Go on, get into it, get into it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Emily, this young man I found in the town square and I have taken it home to study it. He has no clothes on. You don't say. Yes, I intend to prove he is the missing link. Is uh, that all right with you if I keep it here for a little while? Why, yes, of course, your marks. That is marvelous, but you really shouldn't call it an it, you know. It is a he. Oh, a he. Well, what should I call him? Then, Larry? No. He looks more like a Victor. Victor? That is a stupid name. Well, whatever. Come on, Victor. We shall go into my laboratory. <laughs> No stimulus response to music. Well, I guess you have no heat vision, so I get... Um... Okay, that was just a freaky coincidence. So you see, gentlemen, when I have the clothes upon Victor, he is very, very sad. Melancholy. But when I take the clothes off of him, he begins to frolic through the fields, happy as a clam. What can this possibly mean? I'm glad you asked that, you silly, silly man. The whole clothes thing, as well as the multiple scars found up and down his body, and of course his peculiar food preferences, as well as the fact that he cannot learn to speak beyond a rudimentary level, leaves me to believe that he was abandoned at the age of six months and he is now twelve or thirteen years of age. <clears throat> Any questions? Helumph, this proves nothing. He is not the missing link to some fellow local boy. Come, we are out of here. Uh, no, gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, no, Victor, Victor, stop it, Victor, Victor, oh, oh, Victor, mm, son of a derriere, I am a failure, <sighs> such a failure. Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, what is the matter? Didn't you hear me, Emily? I am the failure. Nobody believes me about my research on Victor. Jean-Marc, you cannot let one or two naysayers get you down. You just need to have confidence and believe in yourself, and pretty soon other people will start to believe in you too. I know I do. Do you really, Emily? Do you really think that is all I have to do? I know so. I promise. And hey, have I ever broken a promise to you before? Well, remember on our wedding night, we said I would handle the crazy experimentation stuff and you would handle a few simple household chores like vacuuming and doing the dishes. 
Ja. Well, Emily, warte mal zu den Kreis nach! Okay, Victor, we are going to try this again. We are going to start the research all over again from the ground up. That way we'll be able to... <laughs> that way we'll be able to... <laughs> Madam Galton, please, we are trying to conduct very important research. So anyways, we are going to try to... <laughs> Madam Galton, what is the matter? <laughs> My husband, the one I was married to for 14 years, is dead, died of smallpox. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry to hear that, Madam Galton. I... Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Victor. Victor, 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 Victor! Hoo -hoo -hoo! My research is working! You are learning to understand human empathy beyond the basic rudimentary level! Oh, this is the most wonderful news I've ever heard! Emily, you were right! Oh, everything is working and coming together! This is fantastic! Oh, things can only get better from now on! But even though he is gone, Victor shall live on in our hearts and our souls as, uh, as, uh, well, I don't know what to say about him. I didn't even know him. Guess I'll go to Starbucks. <laughs>